Hi, I'm Adam Pascala from the Seismology Research Centre. I'm starting a series on earthquakes around Australia going state by state. And the first state I'm going to look at is New South Wales, including the Australian Capital Territory. Since records began, we've recorded thousands of earthquakes throughout New South Wales, with the earliest documented earthquake being a magnitude 3 at Port Jackson in Sydney in 1788. Since then, we've recorded about 30 earthquakes over magnitude 5 throughout the state, and about 100 earthquakes between magnitude 4 and 5. The largest magnitude earthquake recorded in New South Wales was magnitude 5.6. Actually, there were several magnitude 5.6, but the most well known is the magnitude 5.6 earthquake that devastated the city of Newcastle in 1989. There are several areas throughout the state that have regular seismic activity, most of those being through the Great Dividing Range, Southern Highlands and those sorts of mountainous areas. This cluster of events to the north of the ACT is in the Dalton Gunning area, where small to moderate earthquakes occur on a regular basis. And just this week we saw some activity in that area, a magnitude 3.9 to the northeast of this cluster near Taralga. That earthquake was felt very strongly in the immediate area and up to 200 kilometres away. And that's because Australia sits on an old, cold, hard section of the Earth's crust that doesn't get broken up very often, which means that earthquake waves can travel a lot further here than they do in other parts of the world. Currently, the Seismology Research Centre doesn't do any monitoring in the Northern Territory, but you can go to Earthquakes at GA to look at the history of earthquakes in the Northern Territory. Geoscience Australia have over 2,000 earthquakes in their catalogue for the Territory, and out of the top six earthquakes recorded onshore within Australia, four of them were in the Northern Territory, three of which occurred on the same day at the same place in 1988 at Tennant Creek. This image behind me shows one day of aftershocks recorded on an old smoke paper drum recorder deployed by the SRC back in 1988. That earthquake was very remote, but it did cause some damage to a gas pipeline which needed to be dug up and repaired. But the Tennant Creek earthquakes weren't the most recent magnitude 6 events in the Northern Territory. In 2016, a magnitude 6.1 earthquake occurred in the Peterman Ranges. Fortunately, a team from the University of Melbourne was in the area. In fact, one of the students on that trip, Tamara King, wrote her PhD on geological expression of faults, using data gathered from the Peterman earthquake investigation. But earthquakes within the Territory are not what usually shakes the residents. Being so close to the Northern Northern boundary of the Australian plate, residents of Darwin often feel shaking from magnitude 6 and 7 earthquakes hundreds of kilometres to the north in the Banda Sea. The largest earthquake on record in Queensland occurred 106 years ago, a magnitude 6.0 on the 6th of June 1918. It occurred offshore east of Gladstone. The Seismology Research Centre started analysing earthquake data for Queensland in 2001. Here's a map showing earthquakes in Queensland from the Geoscience Australia catalogue up until 2001, and the earthquakes from the SRC catalogue since then. So the Seismology Research Centre was engaged to analyse the earthquake data for the Queensland coast for about 10 years, but now we only operate a small network near Gladstone. The second largest earthquake in Queensland was a magnitude 5.8, and that only happened a few years ago in 2016. Again, that was an offshore earthquake near Bowen, and that was followed by many aftershocks, including a magnitude 5 in 2020. In recent years, most of the earthquake news has been coming out of Victoria, so you'd be forgiven for thinking that that's where most of the big earthquakes are happening. But in fact, of the eastern states over the last 10 years, Queensland has had six magnitude 5 plus earthquakes. And of the other eastern states, there are only two earthquakes over magnitude 5, both in Victoria. The largest earthquake on record for South Australia was a magnitude 6.5, and that occurred in 1897 off Beachport. That earthquake was felt widely across neighbouring states and caused some damage and slumping of wet soils due to liquefaction. The second largest earthquake was only a few years later in 1902, a magnitude 6.0 at Waruka. Although we have records going back several hundred years, earthquake monitoring didn't really kick off in South Australia until the 1960s. The Sutton Earthquake Centre was operated by various government agencies until about 2017. Soon after this, the Seismology Research Centre took over the detailed data analysis of South Australian earthquakes, mainly focused on the Adelaide region, but also throughout the Flinders Ranges, where we can detect earthquakes down to about magnitude zero. We can also detect negative magnitude earthquakes in the region, and if you don't know how that works, I've got a video about that as well. We'll cut now to one of my earlier videos where I talked about a cluster of earthquakes in the northeast of Tasmania, east of Flinders Island. In fact, over a period of three years, from 1884 to 1886, there were 27 earthquakes, including three over magnitude 6, a 6.0, 6.2, and a 6.8. Before 1960, there were practically no seismographs monitoring earthquakes in Australia, so the historical records only record those large enough to be felt. In the 60s and 70s, the University of Tasmania started monitoring earthquakes around the state, and then in the 2000s, the Seismology Research Centre installed a number of additional seismographs and started taking over the detailed data analysis. 
Most of the activity that we see in the state is concentrated on the west coast. But the most significant earthquake in recent years was a relatively small magnitude 2.3 earthquake near the town of Beaconsfield. That small earthquake caused a rockfall in an underground mine. Unfortunately, that rockfall took the life of one miner and trapped two others. It took several days to find those two miners around a kilometre underground, where they were trapped for two weeks as rescuers drilled through hard, unstable rock to get to them. The state that for the last few years has given the impression that it's the earthquake capital of Australia is Victoria. The earliest recorded earthquake in the state was in 1837, magnitude 3.5 in the northeast suburbs of Melbourne. The largest earthquakes recorded within 100 kilometres of Melbourne were a magnitude 5.5 that occurred in 1855 in Bass Strait, and a magnitude 5.0 in Western Port Bay in 1971. In the last 10 years, the largest earthquake in the Melbourne metropolitan area was a widely felt magnitude 4.0 located near Greenvale in Melbourne's north in mid-2023. This animation shows a 10-year window of earthquakes since records began, and you can see that more earthquakes were detected once seismographs were introduced around 1960, and a major leap in earthquake detectability occurred when the Seismology Research Centre started operating in 1976. It just goes to show you that many faults are active, even if the earthquakes that are occurring on them are way too small to feel. Speaking of faults, many faults have been identified across the state, and there are several large faults near Melbourne that have the potential to generate a magnitude 7 earthquake. The Selwyn Fault that runs along the Mornington Peninsula, the Torquay and Ballerine Faults that run along the surf coast to Geelong, and the Rowsley Fault that runs along the Brisbane Ranges to the west of Melbourne. And of course we have to mention the largest earthquake ever recorded in Victoria, and the event that prompted these science communication videos, the magnitude 5.9 Woods Point earthquake that occurred at 9.15am on the 22nd of September 2021. I've done a bunch of videos about the Woods Point earthquake, so go and check them out. Mention a large magnitude 7 earthquake that occurred in 1906, and most seismologists will think of San Francisco and the devastating consequences that followed that magnitude 7.9 event. But did you know that in that very same year, Australia had its largest ever earthquake on record? That was a magnitude 7.8 earthquake, 500 kilometers west of Exmouth. This is one of the largest earthquakes on record to have occurred within a tectonic plate. That is, not on or near a tectonic plate boundary. The next largest earthquakes in the state both had a magnitude of 6.6, .6, with the most recent occurring near Broome just five years ago in July 2019. One of the most damaging earthquakes in the state's history was a magnitude 6.5 that destroyed the town of Meckering in in 1968. A few locations in the state have had earthquake swarms in recent years. Swarms are when many earthquakes start to occur in a small area for a relatively brief period of time. This occurred in 2018 at Lake Muir and at Arthur River in 2022. The largest events in those sequences were around magnitude 5 and they occurred in a region that's known as the Southwest Seismic Zone. It's one of the two most active areas of the state, along with the northwest coast, which is near the tectonic plate boundary to the north. Thanks for joining me in this series, looking at a brief history of the earthquakes around Australia's states and territories. Please leave a comment with any suggestions of other content you'd like to see, and follow this account to see more posts and videos each week.